on Old Mission Peninsula. We're gonna drive through and see all the vineyards. The first one we just passed is Black Star Farms. It's a pretty big place. That was which one? Mari. Mar that was Mari. Once you reach the end of the peninsula, you can walk up to the lighthouse. This is a relaxing place to bring your family and your puppy dogs. You can walk along the beach or walk into the water several feet and not even get waist deep. Our first wine stop was at Two Lads. It's a more modern building with a beautiful view of the vineyards and water. Sure, thank you. I do have to admit, these wines here are pretty good. You definitely have to try this place. Our second winery stop is at Chanteau Chantal. Try saying that name three times fast. We had to take a photo by that. Oh gosh. I took a photo by the giant barrel, but I didn't exactly want to jump onto that scale. This place has won a good number of awards. Let me just pan through them. Next stop, Bowers Harbor Vineyards. I think that would be a good idea. I'm pretty sure it's called the Briss Estate. It could be Briz. I could be pronouncing that wrong. Ooh, very nice. Hello. No, we are just tasting. This place can get very busy, but luckily we were able to get a seat just to the right of us. Thank you. 
our last winery for today is Bonnebo. I had to show you this room because this is absolutely my dream bookcase, booth, whatever you want to call this, but I just think it's per perfectly decored. After all that wine tasting, we had to find a yummy place to eat. In this case, Rare Bird. I love the name. To end our Traverse City exploration, the following morning we got breakfast at the cottage. Thanks for watching Green Bee Explorer and join me on my next exploration.